Hello there mortals, I'm Jensen, welcome back to Undertale. This is the third in the series that I'm going to be uploading onto YouTube as soon as I've finished streaming. So, we have kind of got a little path set out for us. We have been murdering everybody that we could possibly find. We've murdered Papyrus. We have murdered the dog. Uh, somebody tried to uh, soft lock us out of a genocide route, but I don't know if I've fallen for it. Probably has. This chain has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Great. We're in a kind of a lore area. That one's squeaked. So these things repeat what they last heard, right? Squeak. So that would have just heard the, the mouse right there. And when we sit at this save point right here, knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mis mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. That does fill me with determination. I love that so much. Are you not on a genocide run? You're locked into neutral now? Wait, wait! I wanted to get that one straight out of the way so that we can kind of see whether or not we are actually the monster that we are supposed to be. Or not. Alright, I don't know where the hell we are though. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Kinda. Are you a star? Uh, well, I mean like, while I'm on the YouTube, yes. This place is big. This place is actually really, really big. How many parts will there be? Um, I'm going to basically run through all of the routes that I can so that I can see which one is going to be kind of like supposed to be canon. I don't think genocide is supposed to be canon. I don't think that's the case at all. I think that the game is supposed to be kind of all about friendship and um, forgiveness and stuff like that. So I also kind of have the same theory about it in Deltarune. So hear me out. When the queen is overthrown, in the Snowgrave run, in Deltarune Chapter 2, I don't think that's canon. I think that is Spamton being kind of like an elevated being above the game itself, taking advantage of the fact that Noelle doesn't want to share her imagination around the place, and um, Noelle withdraws, Spamton kind of opportunistically comes in. All routes are canon? That's going to be really, really hard to justify in a single run, isn't it? Neutral is the I don't know what I'm doing, so I'll just have fun run. Okay, I'll do that. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. It's sure to get the customers to come back. We've got three and a half grand, by the way. Uh, we are not going to buy an ice cream. No, thank you. No, no, no. Tell your friends. No, I will not be doing that. <laughs> There's ice cream hidden in the depths of a very watery cavern. Wonderful. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Oh, that was lore! That's why we're here! True pacifist is canon? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought would be the case. Uh, we can still kind of push onwards here. There is a duck on the other side of this little ravine right here. Okay. We'll go around that. Maybe we can find the duck from another angle, but I wouldn't be too surprised if we can't. Another lore flower here. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Oh, is that it? Why did it tell me that I overheard a passing conversation? You hear a passing conversation? Hmm. Just one, but... It's kind of stupid. Is it to eradicate all humans? Forever? Where's the next one? Okay, we're in a fight. There's two bits of flan down here fighting us, unfortunately. Okay, we are going to do some good, solid attacks. We just one-hit one. Uh, the flan made slime sounds, unfortunately. Uh, this isn't so bad. We played enough Jevil to get around that one. Mold's Maul is ruminating. Okay, we'll go ahead and beat that flan to death. Great! We've done it. We got six experience and six buckery booze. Wonderful. So what's all the way down here? Go left? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go left. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Yeah, sure, I'll take it. You're carrying too much. Oh, poos. We're gonna have to eat some candy or something, right? Let's eat some candy. You ate the monster candy. Uh, and now we've got the ballet shoes, right? Yeah, let's take the let's take the shoes. You got the ballet shoes. Excellent. There's a weapon. I love your videos and the hard work you do. I really appreciate it. It's fun to do. It's it, like it's it's work sometimes, but at the same time, it's just fun. It's just me having fun doing what I ordinarily would have done. You equip ballet shoes. Okay, they're going to be really tight. In fact, they're probably actually going to break the bones in our feet, unfortunately. Get rid of the old weapons and armors. 
50% of me says my theory is false and the other 50% of me says my theory is true. I'm about... I started with my theory in Deltarune at about maybe like 40%. 40%. 40, I was 40% on whether or not my, my theory was true. As I kept playing it, I'm now at about 98%. Just absolutely certain that that is... Whoa, okay. That was a different mechanic. Ooh, I'm sweating. I didn't realize the... Ballet shoes were... Oh, we took one. A weapon. Oh. All right, let's do this. One, two, three. One of them. That hits like a truck, honestly. Okay, we got 52 experience and our love increased. We also got 25 buckery boos. Is this the next one? You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Okie dokie. So we're going the right way. There's a sign up here. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Right. Again, a lot of religious iconography in this. That's not gonna be the onion thing from uh, Deltarune, is it? I think this is gonna be the, the onion thing. I don't think this is a monster. It's gotta be the onion. Oh, surprise, surprise, it's the onion. Hey there, notice you're here! I'm Onion San! Onion San, you hear? Why is your mouth sideways, my dude? Oh, he's following us around. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You'll love it, huh? Yeah, me too! It's my big favorite! Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but it, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium. Like all of my friends did. Wait, is he a squid or an onion? And the aquarium's full. Uh, anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Right. Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. And waterfall! Well, that guy was weird, wasn't it? Sorry, I'm trying to comprehend chat right now. Lots of people have the same theory I have. There's a little evidence for it, but the evidence is strong. I want to punch the octopus. I fully agree. Yeah, from Sands Bleeding and Pepper was saying before Snowden there was grass. Get rid of the old armors and weapons, they take your inventory space. Good idea, I'll do that right after this fight. Sans knowing what the sun is. But Toby said Delta and Undertale are completely two different things. And them just appearing in Snowden. Yeah, Toby did say that they are two completely different games. But what he did not say is that they had two completely different storylines. Right? So I think they have a very similar storyline. Uh, and they kind of work parallel to each other. But I think the storyline branches off at that war. Definitely. Okay. So, let's go ahead and beat this shy grin to death. We got one of those at a crit. Nice, we killed it. I don't know if that was a good thing. Let's go ahead and look at our inventory. So, this faded ribbon, we're going to drop it on the ground right here. I am done with it. And we're also going to do the same thing with the tough glove. Right here. Throw that on the ground. And you threw the tough glove on the ground like the piece of trash that it is. <laughs> what about this bandage? Does it do anything? Bandage. Heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. I don't know if we'll keep it, but maybe we will. There's a sign here. The northern room hides a great treasure. Does it? Let's see. Oh. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. Uh. Catchy. Catchy. Okay, let's get off of this thing. There we go. And was that the treasure? A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Okay. Wow me. Where, what was the song? Is it down here? This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. 
and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. I'm starting to think that monsters are kind of the product of human experimentation. I'm starting to think that. I think that Sans and Papyrus might actually be the product of human experimentation. If they don't have souls, there's got to be, right? They've got to be homunculi. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb the soul. But this has never happened. And now it never will. Creepy! Creepy! They branched off a long time ago? Yeah, I think that's the war. I think the war was when they branched off. I like the mystery man being in Gaster. I don't know anything about Gaster yet. Middle down, right up, down, down, right? Really? It never outright says that it's Gaster, but it's pretty likely. I uh, will do my own research on Gaster eventually. Uh, where did you get this uh, answer, by the way, Axel, you know? What'd you say? Middle, down, right, up, down, down, right. That ain't right. Middle, down, right, up, down, down, right. Nothing. <laughs> it's bust. It's bust. Put an umbrella on the statue. What, this one here? Do we have an umbrella? It's a statue. The structures at his feet seem dry. We don't have an umbrella. I don't think we have an umbrella. No, we don't have an umbrella. Put the umbrella on the statue for the right answer. Okay, that probably makes sense. Take an umbrella? Sure, I'll, I'll take one. You took an umbrella. Can I take another? No, probably not. Please take one. All right, fine, if you insist. I love how we wear it on our head as well. Oh, no, we don't. We're actually holding it. Okay, we'll put the umbrella on the statue. Okay. That, okay, that is going to be a really, really hard one to try and to translate, isn't it? Because you've got to know a little bit of musical theory to be able to transcode those. Take an umbrella? Yeah, let's take a bunch of them. Let's take a billion of them. Return the umbrella? No! Okay, we can't take more than one. Just wait and the notes will appear. I'm trying to listen for it. I generally have uh, fairly, oh, I see. I have fairly reliable uh, pitch hearing. So, middle, up, right, middle, down, down, right. Middle, up, oh, bugger, I've already forgotten it. <laughs> what was it? I'll tell you what, I'll take a photo of it on my, on my cell phone, and then I'll just use that. How are we doing today, by the way? No one's told me how their day's been going. I said it in the wrong order? Yes. Yes, you did. Boop. Okay, flash was on, so I didn't actually get that photo. Why the hell would anyone have flash on on their phone? All right. Got him. Got him. We're going to go home now. And we're going to go and play the piano. Doing pretty good. Overdrive 19. That is great to hear. I love that. I love when people are having a great day. It's been all right. Okay. I don't think anybody here is uh, having a worse day than King of Spiders, right? There's a piano here. Yes, let's play it. So, middle. There we go. Got it. We still have an umbrella, which is pretty funny. It's a legendary artifact. How the hell do we know this? Will you take it? No. What does the sign say? It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? I mean, sure, I'll take it now. You're carrying too many dogs. Did that actually just say what I think it said? It's been raining all day? Oh, that sucks. Are you getting seasonal affective disorder? It's kind of like where the, the weather's bad, so you have bad mood as, as a consequence. It's starting to think I live in Waterfall. You might do. We're carrying too many dogs. I know your biggest nightmare, Jensen. Go ahead. Spitball. Spitball at me. Too many dogs. What? We're not carrying a single dog. That doesn't make any sense. Go there. Go where? 
Go in the room and drop the dog. We don't have a dog! In the room, check your inventory. Oh, I see. Oh, he's hitching right now, we pocket. Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Aw. Okay, let's drop it on the ground. Drop. You put the dog on the ground. The dog absorbs the artifact. Well, that's embarrassing. The artifact is gone. Okay. So, that's, that's Toby. Quite clearly, right? You only have the dog in the room? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's uh, persevere then. Because I don't really think there's much more here, right? Has your day been? My day's been pretty good, actually, so far. I had a really, really great sleep. I woke up and uh, now I'm streaming. So how could a day get worse? Uh, better. Oh, it's just water. Okay. I thought that maybe we were about to get ganged or something. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Uh, I don't want you to be with me, though. Have you not seen the kill count? I've got like 33 kills. Wait, can we use the menu to kind of like leave him behind? No, okay. We tried our best, we tried our best. Your biggest nightmare is Skibbity Toilet? I've never even had a, had a dream about Skibbity Toilet. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night knowing she was gonna beat me up. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Well, why would you voluntarily choose to wet the bed, though? That just seems like you're not thinking too clearly. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. So the king of this world is also a dreamer, right? Which is also what happens in Delta Room. Everybody kind of, like, gets into imagination land and actualizes the story that we experience. Other than that, he ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. I mean, if that's your fantasy, then uh, you're going to be put on a watch list for that, buddy. Uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Well, we aren't innocent. Oh, is this lore? Is that the Disney castle? We live! We live! Can we talk to this guy? No. Ooh. The Dreamer family is the same family you're in in Deltarune? It did sound familiar. It did sound familiar. I feel like Toriel is supposed to kind of like be a bit of a keeper of our, of, of Chris. In both games. Return the umbrella? Absolutely not. I'm going to keep this bad boy with me. What's up, buddy? Yo, this ledge is way too steep. You want me to boost you up then? Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. It could be slippery. It could be slippery. I don't want to fall. Oops. I chose not to put it back. I just have a hard time letting go of the umbrella. This new home, the capital. Not law, just good view. I think everything is law. To a point. Everything is law to a point. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Yeah, the thing with small developers is that whenever they actively have to handcraft something and stick it in a game, it has purpose. Your videos make my day? Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much, Linda. The serene sound of a distant music box it fills you with determination. Strange. Okay. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Yep, that's pretty much what I expected. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us are monsters? Too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters would turn to dust. Okay. Okay. So, we did actually do the genocide as a human. That was the whole point of the war. And it came from a place of xenophobia as well, I think. A bunch of spears. Here's the spear guy again. Let's not stand on his spears. There we go. If we don't move, will they hurt us? They're blue. Ah, oh, they probably will, actually. This guy, gotta be said, not amazing at his job. He's got the accuracy of a water pistol. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. 
This is like a maze. This is a maze. Oh, we took a hit. Damn it, that one actually jump scared me too. Okay. I think we gotta go down, right? Way down? Maybe not down here. Maybe down elsewhere. Down here, possibly? I mean, this, it's, a, it's a maze, right? As soon as we kind of solve it, it's gonna be completely redundant. Oops, took another hit there. Those spears are quite hard to dodge, I'm not gonna lie. Like, very hard to dodge. Whoops, took another one. Took a bunch of hits right there. We kind of got sandbagged into that one. Uh, this looks like a boss arena. Okay, and there's the exit, I think, I believe. Almost got me. Almost got me. The spears are kind of... They're few and far between, aren't they? Uh, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hope the surgery goes well. Yeah, definitely. She's the head of the Royal Guard. So, there was an Undyne in Deltarune. There was a fish lady who was supposed to be the police officer, right? Is it, I imagine this is going to be the same recurring character, but with a different backstory. So, yeah, here's the thing about Deltarune. I'll get to that later. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Chris, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... PCP. His name is PCP. We just took a bunch of PCP. That's what the monster candies were in. So, here's the thought that I had, right? In Deltarune, Undyne, who I imagine is the knight they were about to fight, was kind of like the, the main police officer of the town, yes? And in Undertale, she's the head of the guard. So, vocationally, everybody is kind of doing what they set out to do anyway, which kind of means that history is going to go along the same kind of lines of fate. I assume. Oops, Spider King surgery goes well. Yeah, definitely. So, I've got a sneaky suspicion that every recurring character that ends up in Deltarune that we see in Undertale is going to be uh, d d fulfilling the same purpose in society in a different location. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Really? Oh, we can't fall off the edge either. They're similar characters and they want to do similar things. I feel like they have the exact same motivations, but the setting that they're in are completely different. A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Is there stuff for all this trash? There are quite a few brands you recognize. There's a pile of yellow names in the trash pile. <laughs> we did that! We did that! That's funny. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one. Okay, you got the astronaut food. Great, that's gonna taste like ass. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Cause, oh, oh cause they, they don't have thumbs to, to open it with. That's funny. Garbage. This is something that we also probably put down here. It seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Yes! You punch the dummy at full force. Feels good. Can we do it again? You've had enough of the dummy. Oh. Fine. <clears throat> Boss fight? Elfie says... Elfie says the most different job Delta into her in Undertale. Who was Elfie's? Oh, you think you can hurt me? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy! A ghost would insinuate that that's a soul that's left the body. So, uh, if... There can't be a monster! There can't be a monster! If there are ghosts... If there are ghosts and monsters don't have souls in them, then it can't be a monster. It has to be a human soul that's possessing this thing right now, right? My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you destroyed their home! Us ghosts spend our whole lives looking for a proper vessel. Slowly, slowly, we grow closer to our new bodies. Until one day, we too may become corporeal beings. Beings able to laugh, love, and dance like any other. But you, my cousin's future, you took it all away! 
Despicable! 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 Human, I hope you're not too attached to your body, because your soul is about to get evicted! That's a bit of a dick, isn't he? Mad dummy blocks the way. Why does he look like that? Why does he look like that? Ghosts are a type of monster, I'm pretty sure. They haven't died. They have to find a body to be able to be mortal. A ghost is literally a soul that has left a dead body. By definition, that is a ghost. Ghosts are special type of monsters. Well, they'd have to be, right? They'd have to be a special type of monster because they would have to leave a, a human body. What do you mean, no? Not in this game? Okay, maybe. But historically, re religiously, a soul leaves a body after it passes away. Uh, let's just attack this mad dummy with basically everything we've got. Foolish! 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 Even if you attack my vessel, you'll never hurt me! I'm still incorporeal, you dummy! Wait! Is dummy a compliment? Uh, this is easy, Claire. This is easy. Oh, we gotta make him hit himself, okay. Oh, you dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey! You! Forget I said anything about magic! Mad Dummy is looking nervous. For the billionth time, Undertale is not religion. No, but it's made by a person from this plane of existence that we both live in, and this plane of existence is dictated uh, pretty frequently by religious influence. Is it early or late in the day for you, Jensen? It's pretty... It's, it's about mid. It has a lot of things related to it. Should be around 3pm. Yeah, it's about there. But it's not based on religion. It's usually based on religion. I hate to say it, actually, no. It's usually based on religion. Hate to say it. Most Keanu movies are based on religion. That should really put it into perspective as to just how much media influence does have a lot of uh, religious influence, including all the Matrix movies. Fellow New Zealander? Yes, I am a fellow New Zealander. So let's go ahead and fight this Wangle Dangle. I don't think we can really harm him, but we can make him harm himself, I think. So we just have to dodge these annoying little spirit balls. We didn't dodge that one. So let's get him to attack himself with all of these. Boom! That was a good one. The mad dummy is bossing around its bullets. Okay, let's get another one out here. Boop, boop, boop. I'm pretty sure there was like a triple crit right there. I'll defeat you and take your soul. Okay. Good. And just a few more. Oh, he dodged his own attacks. Smells like a clothing store. Probably does, doesn't it? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, the first two were awesome. Bang a boss theme right here. It, is, it does slap, honestly. Whoop, we took a hit, unfortunately, but I still think it's fine. We gotta hit this guy with his own... He's doing a mad scar dance, okay. That's age. That's a meme that's age. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys to throw their balls all the way over there. That was a lot of attacks right there. Matt Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. <laughs> hey, Jensen, do you know about the Undertale AUS? Uh, no. No, I do not. In fact, I... Oh, what well, we completely whiffed that fight. I think we only have to hit him, like, once, right? I don't really know a lot about the Undertale fandom. What I do know is everything that I am seeing myself, and all of my theories are coming basically from evidence that I'm experiencing. I usually disclose whenever there's a little bit of a little bit of confirmation bias, or uh, if I'm pulling something out of my ass. But there's always a reason for it. All right. This is a strange boss fight. Okay, kind of with that one. We got one attack on him. We gotta try and bait him into himself, right? Which is a really, really gross thing to say. He's just saying lots of whatevers. Whoop. Go over here. Ah, uh, let's get him to- Ah, oh, we missed that last one. We almost got him to spit out. It looks like he's staying up in the, uh, like, second from the top left corner. Uh, let's not act. No. Let's go ahead and just attack. Knock him into pieces. Pitiful? Well, not really. Alright, and here we go. That should be a big one. That was a- It was okay. It wasn't huge, but it is what it is. Alright, good. Got two crits on that one. Feeble, apparently. Apparently we are feeble. Okay. Let's get them to fire all of their load at him. Nice. Hey, guys! Oh. Dummies! 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 Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! Ha! 
<laughs> now you'll see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage! <laughs> Mechanical words fill the room. Okay, he mad. He mad. He's a little bit pissed off. Dummy bots, magic missile! Oh, so close. Oh, weak. Mad Dummy is hopping mad. So we gotta kinda like bait the missiles at him now, it seems. I don't think the attacks are really doing anything. Right again, guys. Up here. Nice. Oh, yes. Nice. We got a couple of them. So we can dodge his attacks pretty easily, but I think this is more like one of those fights where we don't really have to worry too much about what we are doing. So much as just make sure that we're unloading enough of this guy's own attacks. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Good, two of those were crits. We're getting pretty good at the crit system here. Dummy butts, final attack. Oh, look who's back. Back again. Whoops, we took that one straight to the dome. Uh, oh, yes. We want to go around and up and boom. Every single one of those hit him. No, no way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. <laughs> I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me! Forever! 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 <laughs> what? what the heck is this? Uh, acid rain? Oh, forget it, I'm out of here! <laughs> slide! <laughs> the goddamn slide! Ooh! Hey, it's that ghost again. Oh. Oh. Instant time, what, what would it be? What time would it be for you at 10.40 in North Carolina? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Probably seven hours ahead. Seven hours ahead, so maybe 10 p.m., I would say. Hi. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to try and read out that username. That is embarrassing. I, I can't even. I, I have dyslexia. I'm sorry. I can't read that. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Yeah, we're trying to kill everybody that we can. Oh no. You guys look like you were having fun. Oh wait. Didn't you attack me before? Uh, that's awkward. Sorry, have a nice day. Well, I'm going to head home now. Just warning you. So you don't accidentally follow me to my house. You probably wouldn't like that. Let's follow him to his house. We don't draw the line at murder. We're also going to put stalking on there as well. I am a PM. It'd definitely be 10 PM. Oh, hey, you. Follow me. My house is up here. So you probably don't want to come this way. Hope that helps. Okay. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. I do feel a calming tranquility after having uh, murdered that dummy, actually. That was very satisfying. Here's the duck. This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? No. I do not want to be carried across by the bird. We don't want to be carried across by the bird. What the hell? Here's that dummy. What? 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 It's a living! Oh, right, I see. He's supposed to be attacked for a living. That's funny. Lock on the door here. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Why would you be killing? Uh, because we don't know what we're doing, and I have a theory that ties into Deltarune that uh, we could only really extrapolate from the game's lore if we end up killing everybody as we're expected to do as a human in the canon of this game's lore. You feel, uh, why did I hit this again? <laughs> no idea. Okay, we'll come up here, take a look at the sign. North Blook Acres, East Hotland, and Timmy Village is some direction. North is Blook Acres, East is Hotland, and we don't know where Timmy Village is. It could be South. These are s what the hell is this? Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. What? This snail is counting dollar bills. I've been long overdue for a second house. Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail, 
So snaileth Sam Boyle. No idea what that means. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Oh, it probably tastes like escargot, to be quite honest. Undyne's us. Are we actually close to finding Undyne? I'm Bob the Skeleton. You're under arrest for murder, stalking, and being an human. Just saying this is a warning, not trying to spoil anything. Go Hotland. I have no idea what that means. It's locked. I'm trying to break into people's homes. That's all, that's a song. That's, I know that song. Oh, hey, you. Follow me into my house. Make yourself at home. I know that song. That's actually a song that I've heard on radios. The computer's internet is opened to a music sharing forum. The computer's internet browser is... Okay, that's the sh same one. It's Megalovania! No, it's not. I'm working on a mix CD. Make yourself at home. Okay. The CD is labeled Gouladay Music. Play it? Sure. You play the CD. That's Jingle Bells, but... With weird sounds. The CD is labelled Spookwave. Play it? Sure. It's not bad, actually. It's not bad. It's Spider Dance. That's it! It's Spider Dance. It is too. This one's labelled Spook Tunes. Play it. We've heard that one as well. Any food? Oh. Are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> This is a ghost sandwich. You want to try it? Yeah. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. No. Oh, never mind. Well, that's embarrassing. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Follow my lead. What's going on? Here we go. You lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Are you going to do the other routes? Yes, I'm going to try and 100% this game. Leave the room with that music still playing. You'll get a funny encounter. Stay still. Don't move. I, I'm not moving. I'm not, I'm, I would not miss this for the world. There's no way in hell I'm going to miss lying on the floor and feeling like garbage. Oh, bye, Linda. Sorry, I, I missed your message. Gotta go. Bless all of you. I wish I could stay till the end. Miss you. Have a great day. You have a great day yourself. Do you know that very hard? You're doing the hardest one, buddy. I'm a masochist. I'm also a game breaker. Are you going to be live tomorrow? Uh, what day is tomorrow? It's the weekend, right? No, uh, I will not be live uh, tomorrow or the day after. I'll be putting out some edits instead. Because that's how I like to spend my weekends. The genocide is the hardest? I think that's all up to interpretation, right? I think, I think what's really, really hard is kind of like going through the story, killing everybody that you'd like to get attached to. I think that's probably the hardest route. He's doing neutral for God's sake. Not by choice. Not by choice. I was baited into it, I think. Okay, so... This is about it, right? Soon, I Bob the skeleton will be leaving the stream as part of it. Oh my god! Welcome, welcome to the BFD division. I forgot I set that up as well. That scared the crap out of me. I know almost everything about Undertale. It'll take two years to do every single thing in Undertale. Literally, the hardest boss fights are in Genocide. Yeah, that's about it. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, please don't spoil anything. And actually, while I'm uh, on the topic of spoilers, I want to thank everybody, each and every single one of you, for not spoiling a single thing that I have uh, been able to experience for myself. For the entirety of Deltarune and Undertale, I know there are so many things that you want to spoil, and you want me to be a part of the fandom so fast, but I, I do really appreciate that a lot of people are just letting me kind of come up with my own theories. Play the first song? Okay, I'm getting up, buddy. 
You're welcome. I came in two two minutes ago, but yeah. Okay. Well, that was that was nice. Thank you. You still need to recover after all that lying down. I'm resetting the place. This one? Is this one? The CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Okay, we'll play the CD and now we'll leave. Uh. What am I supposed to be seeing here? Now keep going. Okay, I'll keep going. Is this what's supposed to be happening? <laughs> what the heck is that music? I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out. This is worse than Shiren. No way, Shiren is way less scary. If you're so scared, why do you keep winking? There's a winks of fear. Forget it. This beat is too filthy. <laughs> it does kind of sound like it's squeezed out of farts, right? Bush, wait, don't leave me. Is this creepy music my punishment for being creepy? Please, stop! I'll never creep again! Ah! We didn't get any uh, rewards for that. What are my thoughts on Undertale so far? It is charming, but I definitely see the additional love that was put into Deltarune. There is so much more in Deltarune that is kind of like hidden, I would say. Whereas in Undertale, it all seems very much a teaser of, of kind of black and white events that happened. There's still room for interpretation, but it's not like magnificent, huge leaps in logic, I would say. Hey, Chad is Gaster spoil. I don't know anything about Gaster. I'm uh, specifically avoiding him. Well there, I've got some neat junk for sale. Uh, anything you want to know? Tell me about yourself. I've been around a long time, and maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Wahaha! What about that emblem? Oh, that emblem? Yeah, that one. Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Wahaha! That's the Delta Rune! The emblem of our kingdom! The kingdom of monsters! Wahaha! <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as, as, it's as, as, it's as, 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 as I always say, I can't feel the left side of my face. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. So, the emblem was on the top world in Deltarune. That definitely confirms that the uh, Kingdom of Monsters won the war, which is probably where the timeline splits off. That's confirmed it, right? That's confirmed the only kind of, like, thing that I was questioning. What you're using is better? Okay, don't buy the armor over. I will not. Emblem's meaning. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. What about the prophecy? Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people who have been taking a bleaker outlook Calling it that winged circle, the Angel of Death. A harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, it's just looking at it. It's just think it looks neat. Wahaha! Okay. Okay. Okay, so... That... That is strong evidence for me. It, it might not, like, directly confirm it, but that is strong evidence that perhaps the war is where the timeline splits off. Okay, uh, keep trying to talk to him about the character you play. What, this one here? No, he's, he's just repeating dialogue. You can't scare him if it's not genocide. The king, Fluffy Buns, is a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? What do I call Dream of Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. Okay. Undyne. Yes! She's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, let's check out what he's selling. 
I'm just trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Timmy Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. This guy's useless. Okay, he's got a crab apple. It looks like a crab. <laughs> There's also uh, speed up in battle. That might be quite useful for later. Cloudy glasses. Invincible for longer. That might be really, really nice. And tour notebook. Invincible longer. Uh, but at the cost of a loss of... Oh, these have real bad trade-offs, don't they? These have real bad trade-offs. Have you killed it every single person, making it nobody can? His items aren't really that good. Yeah, I agree. I've tried to kill everybody that I possibly could, but somebody has talked me into maybe um, not being able to kill Toriel. Use the box? Uh, no. I don't know if Toriel's dead. I just don't know. But those items are bad. Yeah, definitely. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for all our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. Ah, so they want to get out from underneath the, uh, the fascist oppression. There is only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. I'm starting to think that there might be someone around here kind of collecting souls. Are you going to leave the stream? That's okay, Tail. You have a great rest of your day. Overdrive, you had to basically grind experience to get Gino. No idea what that means. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. If you don't kill the first boss, you don't get genocide. We will remain trapped down here forever. I did try and kill everybody that I could possibly uh, kill. I think the split is that Undertale has magic while Deltarune doesn't. We don't know that. We don't know that. You do. You have a great day. You have a great day, Tail. Gino is short for genocide. Right, yes, okay. Sorry, I, I thought you were talking about like some kind of secret boss of some sort. But no, I realize now that I'm just being silly. Oh. This is kind of cool. Oh, there's going to be like secret paths, isn't there? I can guarantee it. Okay, there's one over there. There's got to be, right? There's got to be non-illuminated paths that kind of branch off somewhere else. Maybe up here? Yeah, maybe? No? Maybe not. Maybe we literally just have to follow it. Okay, special enemy, Timmy, appears here to defeat you. What the hell? What the hell is this? There's no secret boss that's good for him. Yes, right, Timmy Village is close. Down. Noel says she wishes magic is real. It could be real, it could not be real. The thing about magic is that magicians know how to use it. That's the thing. Magicians know how to use magic. So if no one knows how to use magic, it doesn't mean that the, the magic doesn't exist. It just literally means that no one knows how to use it. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and fight Timmy. Awesome, got two crits. Wow, you won. I got 40 experience and 50 buckery boos. Thank you. Uh, what the hell are we doing here? Oh, there is a secret. Oi, welcome to Tim Village! It slaps. It slaps! Hi, I'm Timmy! And this is my friend, Timmy! Hi, I'm Timmy! And this is my friend, Timmy! Do they all have the same dialogue? I'm Timmy! Don't forget my friend! Hey! I'm Bob! <laughs> that one caught me off guard. You feel something. You're filled with de de Timmy nation. <laughs> this game series, my god. Hoi, you should check out Tim Shop. Yeah, yeah. I agree, you should check out Tim Shop. Are they trying to like scam me or something? What's up with this one on the wall right over here? Feeling of being watched. Yeah, no kidding. Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It means you've lived a life of sin. Sorry, did I block this off? Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Oh, I see. Okay. It means don't talk to me. Gotcha. Tim heard human allergies to Tim. That's okay. Tim understand. Tim also allergic to Tim.
guys. <laughs> oh my god! Talk with everyone. Well, don't know exactly, but you know what I mean. What is your name? The f what did I name the Fallen Kingdom? I named her Chris. I named her Chris. All music, all monsters can use magic and Undertale, while in Delta Room they don't. Yeah. I think I, I think I covered that one. It's hard boiled. It's a hard boiled egg here. Tim, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tim, proud parent. Not so much. Oh, 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 oh. Humans, such a cute. Are we the pet? Statue of Tim. Very famous. Very. <laughs> okay, let's go into here and we'll see. Are we supposed to be able to access this area? Is this actually a thing? Or is this a secret? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sell some things. That's Toby Fox's little icon. I wonder if that's got anything to do with kind of like the above the game religious thing that was going on in Deltarune. Alright, let's say hello. Timmy is the other main developer of Undertale and Deltarune. Right, this is kind of a secret, but it's not that hard to find. Yeah, you don't say, I just stumbled upon it. Oi, I'm Timmy. Oi, okay, about yourself. Oi, I'm Timmy. Timmy history. Us Tims have a very deep history. Hey, yeah, go to Tim Chop. What the hell is going on? Okay. Heals 2 HP, food of Tim. No. Heals 2 HP, discount food of Tim. No. Heals 2 HP, food of Tim. Expensive. Tim pay for college. D college Tim, pursue higher education. For a thousand bucks, that's a steal. I'm gonna buy that. Yeah, let's buy that. You don't have demands. What do you mean I don't have demands? Yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't actually. I don't. I want to- I want to buy her tuition. Okay, maybe we'll come back here. Maybe we'll come back here and we'll buy, uh, Tim tuition. I'm not gonna do any grinding or anything like that, we're just gonna kind of play organically, I suppose. Alright. That was weird. So, uh, what the hell are we doing here? Was this even an area we were supposed to go into? Does this area have anything to do with the game that we were playing? What's your favorite character that you have killed? Uh, that's a really good question. Probably Toriel. Honestly, hands down, probably Toriel. Okay, so we go all the way through here and go right. Yes, sir, you have to progress. Okay, I'll do that. Right is this way. Okay, all of the mushrooms have kind of like popped up, right? Okay, there's nothing up there. I see it, I see the path. I see my line. Well, oh, there was something I interacted with. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Is that so? I mean, I couldn't... really give two hoots. Oh, I can kind of see in the background. It's dark. It's very dark. Okay, I'm gonna go and get that other lantern over there. No, I'm not. There's no way I can go and get that other lantern over there. Uh, I do have exceptional vision, so probably don't need to worry about the darkness too much. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. One hit that flan right there. Dead. Rest in peace. I forgot how do you spell her name. Yeah, definitely Toriel, right? And boom. We got both flans. I d did they even get an attack cycle? I don't think so. Okay. We'll activate this. There was kind of like something down here, right? And to the left. Like a thing down here. Or is this just kind of like a dead end? I think it's a dead end. Right, let's go back up. I don't really see any other lamps, necessarily. I thought that maybe if we activated them, they'd be somewhat permanent, but it doesn't actually look like that's the case whatsoever. Uh, let's go down and hit this lamp real quick so we know where we're going. Boop. Okay, so that's just temporary, I think. It's just a temporary thing to kind of get us through to finding another lamp, of which there is one right here. Okay, I know how it works. I know how it works. Flowery is my favorite character. I've yet to decide on Flowery, whether or not I like him or I hate him. Oh, Poos. <laughs> what is this Pokemon ask mechanic? 
behind you. Oh, hello. I love that that was the last thing it heard as well. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore, dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back to the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance of redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne, I'll help you fight! <laughs> Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait. Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Well, I think we just got a get out of jail free card right there. Undyne's fights are amazing. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's go up. Now that we know it exists, let's talk to this flower. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. It took a, a while for them to get to it, it seems. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. Oh well, you shouldn't have said it out loud. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. You hear a passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. And that's my wish, too. Oh, that's sweet. That's, that's sweet. I wonder who they are. I wonder who those two are. That one was harder than Sans? Uh, no. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. Okay, so we are kind of like the Harbingers of Doom, it seems. Uh, this is a rickety ass bridge. Yo! Dude, <laughs> back off, Jack off. Seriously? Why is this guy harassing us so much? Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, you're, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, uh, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? Okay. Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time. Guess I have to do it. Haha. Uh, yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Oh no. Yo, wait! Help! I tripped and I'm... Come on, man. He'd put himself in that situation, by the way. What are you doing to stand around for? Get over here, dude! Bye-bye! <laughs> Undyne, you... You saved me! Help him? Hell no! Huh? They ran away. Yo, you're wrong. They went to get help. They'll be back any second. Okay, I'll go home. Did he drop anything? Okay, we can't go back. Based on what you're doing, Jensen, the Undyne fight is going to have a very disturbing ending. Good, that's exactly what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for some lore that I can kind of rip out of the, the butthole of this game. Okay. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. Forget it. No, that's what I'm here for. Look, Papyrus didn't come to, this, to his meeting today. Say what you want about him. He's weird, he's naive, he's self-absorbed. But Papyrus has never missed a meeting. And no matter what time you called him on the phone, 
Night, day, afternoon, morning. He always answers within the first two rings. But now he's gone. And his brother isn't around either. What did you do to him? What did you do to him? Papyrus, who I have trained every day, even though I know he's too goofy to ever hurt anybody. Go ahead, prepare however you want. But when you step forward, I will kill you. Okay, let's prepare by saving. Under time, let's go! Hello there, small goober, you new? Welcome to the stream. We're about to fight someone new. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come! Why is the box so small? On guard! I don't know what the green heart means. Undyne attacks. Okay. Ah, oh, we can do this. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Oh, I see. Uh, I've played games like this before. Right. Okay, let's go ahead and do a couple of really, really solid attacks on her. When I said face towards danger, I meant face towards the bullets. Okay. Done. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Why is she training us? Okay, we've got two crits on that one. Nice. Not bad. Then how about this? I've played so many games like this before, by the way. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. That is not by any... By any intense, it, it's, it's not a new mechanic. For years, we've done something. It's literally a game of memory. Okay, good. And we are still going to do some attacks. We got one crit on her right there. Yeah, enough warming up. What do you mean enough warming up? Whoops. That was, that was the, uh, my controller just kind of uh, let me down on that one. All right, uh, let's go ahead and fight her. I think the sensitivity might be a little bit too high. Ah, you're tough. I'm a little bit tough, yeah, thanks. Okay, another game of memory. Good. Undyne towers threateningly. She actually has less HP relative to her HP pool than we do now. But even if you could beat me. Uh, right, what's the next line of dialogue? Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Spear, what? No, absolutely not. Fight. Death, death, death. Good. 66 buckery boos right to the face. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Is that so? There we go. Good. Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. We'll do another couple of attacks right there. 81 buckery boos straight to the face. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. Well, okay. It does get a little bit trickier. It's a little bit trickier. Not by much, though. Undyne is going to be poo poo after this. Such a good theme song. It is pretty good, isn't it? Uh, let's go ahead and we'll fight her with our fists. We're a child, by the way. Stop being so damn resilient. Mucking me. Nice. Oh, God damn it. I didn't want to take that damage, but I took it anyway. The wind is howling. It's on my fists. What the hell are humans made out of? Uh, meat. Meat and water. Okay, I'm just going to slip these spears because they're actually pretty easy to dodge. Good. Excellent. Water rushes around you. Yes, that's what I made of. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, oh, triple crit. Nice. Anyone else would be dead by now. Yeah, well, anyone else would not be a child from, from Earth, from Topside. I don't know how I slipped that last one, by the way. The wind is out. Okay, let's go ahead and get her with a couple of these. That wasn't amazing. Alphys told me humans were determined. Oh, cheeky! The spears paused for a moment. Okay, let's go ahead and dump damage. I see now what she meant by that. Oh, uh, I, I, uh, the ones that flip over are a little bit fiddly, but I think they're not so bad to deal with. Let's go ahead and fight her again. Boom, boom, boom. Nice, 74 damage straight to the face. But I'm determined too. That's nice, I suppose. Oh, I got, I got mixed up with those. Uh, let's go ahead and use an item, maybe a healing item, perhaps a uh, butt pie. Ah, right, here we go. Uh, probably a nice cream. There we go. We recovered 15 HP, and now we are in a pretty good place to just kind of like coast, right? 
Oh, we got hit twice on that one. Water still rushes around us. Boom, boom, boom. Nice, triple crits. Right now. All of those came in from two directions. That was kind of funny, actually. Uh, they're quite lucky, I would say. All right, let's attack Undyne. Boom, boom, nice. Yeah, die already, you little brat. Damn it, damn it. Oh my God. Okay, we got rid of one of those. Unfortunately, we've taken a lot of hits, so we should probably use a decent dog residue. What the hell is that? Let's eat the astronaut food. Uh, you recover 21 HP, excellent. Apparently I'm getting in her way. Have you considered, lady, that perhaps uh, maybe you're getting in my way? I am here to murder! Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Alright, let's not do that again. Let's go ahead and fight Undyne with the fists of fury that we... Oh my god, that was a big one. She will not be defeated. Ah, this one's a gimme. This one's so easy to get through. So easy! No! No sweat! Okay, boom, boom, and boom. This place becomes your tomb. You'll never escape from me. I know, I kind of feel like I... I, I kind of feel like I have got a little technique to escape from you, though. I didn't have to slip all those, by the way. I just did. Let's go ahead and beat her to death. And she's done. Does she, have, does she have a second phase or anything like that? And pacifist, she's the untrying funny. Ah! You're stronger than I thought. So then, this is where it ends. No. No! I won't die! Elphus, Asgore, Papyrus, everyone is counting on me to protect them. Nyah! Human! In the name of everybody's hopes and dreams, I will defeat you! Undyne looks determined. Well, that's sad. Come on, is that all you've got? Oh! What the hell? Come off it! What is this? What the hell is going on? Undyne is smiling as if nothing is wrong. Boom, boom, boom. 109. Pathetic. You're going to have to try harder than that. Okay. Good. Yep. It seems like she's kind of like phasing out, so we just have to kind of outlast her, right? I'm still going to be doing a bunch of hits to her. So see how strong we are when we believe in ourselves? Like, kind of. Oh, it's slowing down. This is somber. This is super somber. Undyne's body is losing its shape. Huh. Uh, yeah. Had enough yet? Lady, give up. <laughs> Undyne's body. It's gonna get darker, yet darker. Oh no. Okay, well, thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here, you're gonna find the playlist for uh, Undertale, and right up here, you're gonna find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down the description of this video, you're gonna find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community personally. And until I see you in the next stream or record the next episode, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye! <laughs>